because people are quick to judge. You know, I had a phone call come in. That's why I knocked the, the camera off at the time I was talking. I think my sister just dialed in while I was making this video. But anyways, I'm getting ready to go in here and talk to the therapist or whatever. Let me take the badge down. Um, so instead of talking on the internet about certain things, people judge you about what you say. You know what I'm saying? Or what you do. And um, like I said, my life was a target. You know, my kids was a target on TikTok. You know, TikTok is an entertainment app that people get up there and like to have fun, you know, and show their life and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, um, 2023 would not be like that. I was going to hold the shit down, you know, finish doing my hauls and do things that I like to do on my channel and, you know, just basically do YouTube. You know, I still be posting on my Instagram or whatever like that. But other than that, I'm just going to be doing what Nika's supposed to be doing to make money for me and my children to make sure these bills are paid. I had a dream about something about my YouTube channel. I think my YouTube channel had blew up. And in my dream, I just woke up one morning. I was just so excited. I was like, all right, my views went up. You know, I got a lot more subscribers. And I was excited. And I, you know, I was like, wow. So maybe God trying to tell me, you know, y'all might come a little bit closer to me instead of leaning away from me. Because a lot of y'all really don't know who Nika is. Y'all really think that I'm a bad person because what people are saying or what y'all see on the internet, such as like, you know, fussing with my kids, something like that, which y'all don't see me beat them or nothing like that. But a lot of y'all might grow closer to me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all might not grow closer closer to me but i wouldn't care but i think a lot of y'all know how sweet i am and how loving i am and what kind of person i am i don't think y'all will actually just stay away that long because a lot of you guys when y'all get blocked y'all come right back you know what i'm saying y'all just like i'm just want to go back and see what she's doing ain't no love lost here i love doing what nika loves to do and that's being a creator and you know showing my life but i can see that my kids can't be on camera because people just feel like, oh, well, we do false allegations against her and, you know, da, 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 keep calling and whatever, whatever, and, you know, whatever. But like I said, you know, it's not like I can't see my kids or it's like I can't get visitation with them or, you know, pick them up or whatever, you know, spend time with them. That's what a mother's supposed to do. So that's why in 2022, when it ends, y'all, 2023, come in, I just making YouTube videos of me doing hauls, me cooking and stuff like that. You know, just doing little things, eating or whatever things that I feel like I enjoy, I will do myself. And, you know, for 2022, thank the ones that were here supporting me and mine truly throughout this whole journey, especially with um, baby girl coming in the world and everybody was there, you know, on the camera watching me, you know, give birth, after birth. Everybody was there, you know, seeing the baby and everything. Everybody was there helping me with my bills and stuff when times were collapsing in 2022. And this video is basically about me telling everybody, thank you for everything y'all have done for me and my children in 2022. And, the, and all the things that was going on, you know, I will pray for those that, you know, did destroy me and my family life in 2022. And I also will pray for the ones that just feel like they playing out evil and don't know Shadika like the back of their hand, you know what I'm saying? So in this year of 2022, I'm leaving everything behind. I do forgive the ones that did, you know, backstab me in my back and did all these things to me. I do forgive you, but I will never forget. I don't know who you are. I don't care who you are, but you are watching me and my watching me and my channel just to see what I got going on. But at the end of the day, y'all, 2023 is coming in. I'm leaving all that negative shit behind. I don't want none of that drama in my life. If it's not nothing positive in my life with dealing with being a creator on YouTube, then I'm not going to deal with it at all. But only to the ones that respect me and mine truly. I love you guys, and I always say that. And in 2022, this journey has really brought me to the top of the charts of putting my book out there i got three four books out there now in 2022 um it's, it's getting success you know people did went out there and put bad things on the um on the comment section of the book you know because when i first wrote the book i was too excited so i posted the book didn't think about the errors and all that stuff but anyways 2022 accomplishes i did got the books out there i wound up leaving tiktok alone permanently because when i used to go back on there to go live everything started to pop off so i was like you know what just leave that app alone go on my youtube channel post do whatever enjoy what i do and leave it like that so 2023 will be here soon the ball will be dropping i hope y'all stay safe start to get in here and go talk to this therapist i hope y'all stay safe in 2023 and if y'all shooting fireworks, be safe. And of course, TikTok is a kid's app. Of course, the kids probably feel like we step into their territory and tore it all down when adults step in and start doing all this booty shaking, singing, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Crazy things or whatever. But at the end of the day, my kids will never disrespect anybody on the internet. And that's one thing I must say about my children. They never disrespect any adults on the internet. If I got something to do with another child, then they will. But like I said about my oldest two, 
why would the two don't play about their mama? And there's a lot of things that they don't tolerate with when it comes down to their mother. You know what I'm saying? So when sometimes Naya Lanch off at people is because, you know, she's feeling a certain way when people say things about her mother because, you know, deep down inside, she already know how her mama is. I'm her mother. You know what I'm saying? It's not like she's going to cover for me in anything that I'm doing because if I was doing anything to harm her or any one of her siblings, of course she would have told it. Papa, he's a laid back boy. You know what I'm saying? He's older. He don't like dealing with a lot of drama. He don't like dealing with people himself. But he loved camera like he loved being on camera like mama does. You know, he loved making videos. He loved being on camera with me. You know what I'm saying? So he wants y'all to come over to his YouTube channel, you know, stay positive with him and join him or whatever. And I'll drop that um I gotta ask my son again what his YouTube channel. Because when I try to type it in, I can't find it either. But my son is laid back, so he wants y'all to join his YouTube channel. All I want in 2023 is to be successful in what I'm trying to do and have a support system right there behind me throughout my journey in 2023 and for you guys in 2023 that's about to come in stay safe out here in this world from my family to yours only to inspect me and my truth i love you guys i'm getting ready to go inside peace to the middle east see you guys later and guess what easy raining but it just stopped and i hope it don't start back peace y'all see you later love you guys bye